Hey everybody, so in this lesson, we were learning all about balance. And there are so many insects out there that have so much balance to them. So we are going to be working on making our own insect. It could be whatever kind of insect you want. It doesn't even have to really exist. So it can be an imaginary uh, insect that you just think of all of, all up on your own, which would be amazing, which is what I did here. But before you get started, make sure that you review that picture that I gave you about different types of insects so that you can see different ways that it can be drawn because there's so many different ways that you can create an insect and my way is not the only way. So what you're going to need for this project is a white piece of paper. It needs to be really light and not a heavy piece of paper. So if you have paper from your printer or this kind of copy paper or white construction paper, that should work too. But the reason is because we're going to need to see through the paper. So the first thing we are going to do with our piece of paper, you can either fold it in half this way or fold it in half this way. That's up to you. But it depends on your bug. My bug in this drawing was long. <laughs> but if you want your bug to be short and have more things going outward this way, you would want your paper to be this direction. So I already made one in this direction. So I'm going to try this way. Let's see what happens. OK, so I folded it in half. My fold is right here. This is important. Your opening should be over here. We are going to draw on the fold. You need to make sure you're drawing on the fold. Now, I'm going to first draw with a pencil. I know it's really hard for you to see, but there are lines that you have to erase. There's lots of erasing that needs to get done in this project. So I'm going to use my pencil, and I'm going to start with the head. And I'm just going to think of a shape, maybe like a half of a diamond kind of a shape. You know, it's super hard to see. And then maybe I'll do a very wide and long body. So I have two shapes. I want to give mine an antenna. So I'm going to have that come out I want a really long one. But we're not just going to draw one line. We're going to make it have two lines so it has thickness to it so we can color it in. That means I'm going to have to erase this line right here. Because we are not going to see that. And I'm going to make a little curved line down here. So that line's erased and I did a little curve right there. What else should I add? I like wings. So I'm going to add a big long wing. Remember, these are imaginary or fantasy, whatever you like to call them. So they're not real. So your insect can look whatever way that you would like it to look. So I drew my wing, but you see how I drew it on top of there? So I'm going to have to erase this line because we don't want to see it. My wing was kind of like an oval shape. So 
See how I erased it? All right. I'm gonna put some pattern in my wing. So I'm gonna draw a long line down. And then some lines going downward at an angle. So I drew a long line there. And I'm gonna draw I drew some lines going down for a pattern. And then I'm going to give him three legs right here. I want to have them coming off the top. Let's try that. One. Remember, when we're drawing the legs, we still have to give it thickness. So we have to draw two lines. Draw the feet going down. And then I have to erase this line right here in between each one. I'm going to erase them. And then, if there's anything else you want to add to your bug, any other more legs, more wings. You can draw an eye coming out the side. I'm going to add a little, I'm just going to add the side of the eye. You got a big eye coming out of the side of its head. And I'm going to add some different patterns on here on the back so that when I color it in, it can have all these different designs. So it can be any sort of designs that you want. So I can do a circle pattern, which is what I'm going to do. Now remember, anything that we do here, we're going to have to trace it. So it goes on the other side. I did all my little bubbles. And now I am going to add maybe some stripes on the head. Very interesting insect. All right, so now you're gonna be able to see it better because I'm gonna trace it with this black marker. You need to trace it too. So when you're done drawing with pencil, the exact thing that I'm doing, not the same bug, but the same drawing with pencil, then trace it with a marker on only half the page. I never opened it up. You gotta keep it closed. Keep it closed. I'm gonna trace all of my lines. When you're done tracing all of your lines, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you erase your pencil marks so that you don't see them.
take your time when tracing because these are the lines that are going to show. We're erasing all of the pencil lines. So anything that you're drawing with the marker is the only part that's going to be showing. So make sure you take your time. One side done. There we go. Now the last thing I need to trace are the little circles that I did on here. Make sure that you're doing everything right up to that fold because that is going to be the other side of the bug's body. So now that I have this done, you're going to need some light. And I do not have a light table. What I do have are windows. So you're going to take your paper and you're going to hold it up to the window. I'm going to show you in a moment. But you're going to put this side that you just traced on the window. So you're going to be looking at this side. But when you hold it up to the window, you'll be able to see through it. So you're just going to take this, point it at the window, and start tracing. With, I would trace with your pencil. I'm going to trace with my marker so that you can see how it turns out. I'm going to show you the window. So I'm going to go right over here by the window, and I'm going to trace my bug. Hope you'll be able to see it. So here is my drawing side, and on this side, you can see how it shines through the paper. So now I'm going to take my marker, you're going to take your pencil, and I'm going to trace everything that I see. Take your time.
I'm almost done. You can see it all coming together. my wing and I just got to do all the circles on my body. I'm going to open it up. I have my symmetrical bug. Look at that balance. Okay, now that I have my symmetrical balanced bug or insect, I am going to start coloring it. Now coloring also has to be balanced symmetrically. So anything I color on this side, I'm going to color the same thing on this side. So I'm going to start with my, I'm going to start from the top and then go down to the bottom. So these little antennas that I made, let's see. Take your time with your coloring. I'm using crayons, but you can use whatever you'd like. If you have markers at home or colored pencils. Um, or even if you have if you have watercolors, those could work too. But remember, it needs to be balanced on both sides. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start from the top, move down to the bottom, 